when it can't nobody hold it. We'll see how for how long. Well, speak, speaking of um, Nipsey's family, we, we were sitting there and we were watching the BET Awards and we seen Lauren, we seen Samantha Smith, we seen his mom, his pop, daughters, everybody was there. Even his bodyguard we seen. We didn't see Black Sam. Right. Black Sam has been a no-show, you know, at the awards. Um, and we only can speculate why Black Sam hasn't been there. Sam, man, what do you think about Black Sam not being at the awards is this overblown nobody's talking about this or is it a cause for concern at this point in time when the whole family's there i don't think it's overblown but it is the reason to question and us as media sitting there would love to ask the question now we all know how close black sam and nipsey were we've seen the videos and the tributes we heard nips uh black sam speak on the love he asked for his brother prior to his death we hear what he said after the death and I can only kind of put it in my own shoes because we are speculating right now and saying that if God forbid this would happen to someone brother like like me, the last thing that I would want to do would be in front of the camera dealing with shit. Like I just not the kind right, of dude right. that I am. And going out there and feeling the area, Slauson and Crenshaw, where we were at and understanding the brief time that we were there, the real motherfuckers that just deal with this are out there. It doesn't surprise me that he just doesn't want to deal with that shit right now. He doesn't want to go on camera. He doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to do that. Now, there are other uh, media outlets, and I don't want to give them too much because I don't know how, they, how well their credibility is, but throwing out um, um, speculation that he wasn't doing too well and that he was this or that. He was that. Listen, we can all have a bad day or, or not do something and run out real quick with some flip-flops and some bullshit clothes to get a picture taken and get way overblown. Who knows? But mm -hmm. um, right now, he still could be just probably just grieving. It's just a lot. We, we, we hear the situation he's going through with the Marathon Store trying to um, get that uh, um, trademarked. Yeah. And, and the Marathon continues trying to get that trademark and keep his brother's name and his legacy within the family and going through that legal battle. And he's probably dealing with a lot. That's my speculation. That's my only thought on that. And my thing is, yeah, I, I could definitely probably agree. I'm um, looking at some stats about him here as you're speaking and um he was the co-owner with nipsey there so i mean they, he, he's got money you know but besides all that he, he has a lot of stuff to deal with now with uh, controlling that estate and trying to keep the legacy of his brother not only his brother but his best friend i mean people don't you don't understand how it is to lose a brother and i think he was the older brother yeah, at that so yeah. it's just like i understand what the brother's going through you know um right now with this so um you know like you said i don't maybe he doesn't want to be in the public or it could be you know, um, there's certain it could be issues inside. You know, maybe not not that not that immediate family, but maybe there could be. I mean, that's none of our business mm -hmm. if there is. But um, I think people would like to know. A lot of people also wanted to know. And I'm reading articles here, and one of the top searches is what was Black Sam arrested for? We all know about Nipsey. That's how we got introduced to Black Sam. Nipsey was it was a scene when Nipsey was walking out, and they said that he bailed him out. For a million dollars and people want to know what the hell did he do mm -hmm. which we still don't have the information now but um i just think you know and even him we can even talk about black sam him saying a few things early on after nipsey died that will make people raise an eyebrow and say hmm maybe it was some foul play you know behind this death here but people kind of got off of that they let it go and i think that you know, with the media, the social media, his face popping up everywhere, probably getting phone calls, DMs, messages. He probably just wanted to tuck away. And not a lot of people are talking about it. But after we talk about it and we put the video up, I guarantee people are going to be talking about where was Black Sam at the BET Awards. Maybe there's a perfect explanation. Maybe there's not. Oh, God, you made a great point in what you said. Um as far as him talking early on about there being a little more to the story than what what's being talked about and i alluded to earlier about his mother very powerfully holding back a lot and being genuine but not being all the way genuine because she wants to go in but she's not maybe black sam don't got that power in him and maybe if he gets on a microphone he'll say some shit that they want to kind of keep within family circles right now and things That's like that point. because he's pissed I mean, this is yeah. fresh, and you go from being just shocked to sad to just disgustingly sad morning to just angry, and I know what the fuck to do. And uh, you might just get a raw dude that you ain't ready for. He might be saying some shit that he's not allowed to say. So he's doing what's right right now. I don't, I don't hold it against him for not being at the BET Awards. I, don't, I doubt you do too. I, I mean, it didn't hurt me not seeing Black Sam. I wasn't going, damn, 
Black Sands fucked up for not representing. I think that he loves his brother because he wasn't at the BT Awards. Doesn't well, it was a tribute. It was a tribute for his brother as well. I mean, he's probably seen them a hundred million times over now. Mm. Tributes, you know, out the ass at this point. So mm. maybe this wasn't important for him. Maybe it was somebody he didn't like. I don't know. You know, but um, I think there was a case in point, you know, because we didn't actually think about it when we were there. No. It kind of the thought slipped my mind, you know, but afterwards, like, what the hell is Black Sam at? So, smoking outside, chilling, like, damn, what Black Sam was at? Yeah, yeah, and, you know, again, you know, co-owner of that store, um, spent a lot of time with Nipsey, obviously, his whole life, and you would definitely want to see, you know, uh, um, him, you know, continue to, to move the marathon forward the right way, and I think that he can. Maybe he's just taking some time off vacation and trying to get focused for the task that he has at hand. It didn't feel good seeing that, that, that store and that clothes sign on the store online only i want to see that store get open back up i think it would be great for the city great for the people we had conversations uh, months ago whether or not it would open back up some people said no i was one of the people that thought that it would i'm still hopeful that it will because like i said it just even though i never seen it open seeing it closed it doesn't feel the same that needs to be brightened back up and if it is open i think it will bring a little bit of a light back to the city that's missing right now it's a landmark now i mean you seen we were there for a few minutes and i'll say within Maybe 10 minutes, you had about 30 to 40 people. Yeah, it started, that started flooded coming up, up a know, little more. Yeah. yeah, taxis coming through and people with their cameras and people want to pay homage. You know, some people, you see all, all types of people, white people, black people, mm -hmm. people of all different races and persuasions, you know, out there just trying to, because a lot of people felt the death of Nipsey Hussle. Um, so, you know, again, we're going to do what we do with media. We got a podcast. We are going to talk about what we want to talk about mm -hmm. on our podcast. But um, we thought that that was a great topic, you know, um, for the people. But let's talk about, you know, the BET Awards and talk about um, John Singleton. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he was um, also honored. Morris Chestnut honored him. Um, and Damson Idris also um, honored, you know, my brother, uh, John Singleton at the awards. But um. A lot of people, and in particular, John Singleton's baby mom said she was not satisfied. She felt like BET, you know, pretty much um, didn't give him the same accolades or the same honor as Nipsey Hussle. She voiced her opinion on um, Facebook, which she took down. And a lot of people were talking about this. Sam, man, what do you think about uh, John Singleton's uh, memorial at the BET Awards and compared to Nipsey Hussle? Was he slighted a bit? I don't want to compare the two. But what I say is going into and watching it live, it could have been done better. Like you said, now Nipsey Hussle had the music. It was, it was, he had his family up there speaking. It was, it was heartfelt and no denying that John Singleton, someone who left an incredible impact on this world as well behind a director's chair, giving us an insight on what goes on in inner cities and the struggles that us as black Americans, in particular black men, deal with within these inner cities, with police, with um, oppression, with getting jobs, just dealing mm -hmm. with the issue that we dealt with. He did it like no other. At the BET Awards, should have gotten a little better um, respect. Now, obviously, we have Morris Chestnut out there, and his he, he talked about how in the beginning this was his first role. Um, 1988, if I'm not mistaken, Boys in the Hood, where he played Ricky, John mm -hmm. Singleton gave him the um, the opportunity we had the young brother what was his name again I, you, you said his name i forgot last name idris idris he played yeah. in snowfall um john singleton's final act as he was going along great series and they talked about the similarities on how john singleton just stayed who he was how he was and it was just a genuineness behind that that we cut off and went to the next topic and it's yeah like, man and we love bet you know mm -hmm. we have our different criticisms we got to see how our operation mm -hmm. kind of went you know their um, celebrity basketball game i think it did a great job with the awards and everything with everything else, I think was kind of lackluster. That celebrity basketball was shit. Yeah, it was shit. I'm sorry, it was, uh, shit. It, it was horrible. But um, yeah, I think BET. I mean, we like we said, we joked around, said we could have did a better tribute. It had to be two, three minutes. You know, put some clips in there, John talking to people that you know, the other actors that he impacted. Clips of his movies in there. It could have been definitely better than that. I think that his um his ex, his baby mom, had a right to voice her opinion about that. A BET could have done, it, especially with all with BET. You know, um, used to be black entertainment television, you know, the way it was set up. They definitely should have did it. And they, I think that they owe, you know, the family an apology for not. And I was even thinking that I'm thinking me, I'm thinking that his, you know, his uh, uh, um, John Singleton's tribute is going to be more elaborate than Nipsey's. I'm like, OK, I'm going to see that, you know, this and that. I've seen them kind of talk. Rustoff say, even though it was beautiful, Morris and Damson Idris did they thing. 
And we, of course, we wanted to see Ricky up there. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think that, you know, I don't have a problem with her, you know, um, voicing um, her opinion. It would have been a, a great to see uh, the Fast and the Furious stars and the uh, Boys right. in the Hood.